How many? Three. I'll take the same. I bet two. I'll see those two, and I'll raise you five. I better win today. I haven't had breakfast in a week. Well, the best man always wins. Well, there's four. Hey, I need some more chips. <coughs> Hurry up with those chips. I'm getting sick and tired of making chips for you guys. I gotta get busy for my radio contest. Roses are red, and violets are blue. Try stick fast glue, and you'll be stuck too. I got it. Oh boy, if I get the best slogan, I'll make a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, you're crazy. You've been sending those things in for weeks. Nobody ever wins those. Yeah, why don't you play cards and improve your mind? What there is of it. Wait. See the money I get. There's that chip I call. What do you got? Just four aces. And me with four kings again. Well, it must be beginner's luck. I can't understand it. Every day you have beginner's luck. Well, it's just one of those things you... If you want to cheat, cheat fair. Anything I hate is a crooked crook. Oh! <laughs> My beginner's luck. <laughs> I admit the pancakes ain't so good, but the syrup is delicious. I got it. Hot water always melts glue. Oh, wait a minute. What's the matter with you? Ungrateful. Hey, huh? What do you think I am, a lobster trying to boil me alive? Well, hot water always... Before you can say, ooh. Hmm. I'll get it in the back. Let me see this. Why didn't you think of this, useless? They are the. Nah. Once you hold still, now I gotta start all over again. I'll get that thing yet. Yeah, if his teeth hold out. I'm doing it myself! Oh, oh. I got it! You got it again! Oh! Oh boy, I hope I win this contest. It's a good thing it's time for the Coffin Nail Cigarette Program, all right? That concludes the musical portion of our program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Coffin Nail Cigarette Contest. The first prize of $50,000 goes to Mr. Curly Howard of 1122 Lily Flower Terrace, New York City. Who did you say? Curly Howard. Oh, thanks, Toots. <laughs> That's you, ain't it? Certainly. Oh, boy, I'm rich. At last we can live like gentlemen. Pie out 
Vanilla mode with beer chasers three times a day. Let's go places and buy things. Come on. Oh, wait for the money man now. <laughs> a toast. A toast. A toast. Hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue. There's no glass for me, so I takes to you. Hmm. Hmm. This ain't a bad looking dump. Reminds me of the penthouse we were thrown out of. Send up a couple of cases of champagne. Gentlemen, the furnishings in this room are of great value. Now, for instance, uh, Oh, this vase is valued at $5,000. And over here, this bed goes back to Henry VIII. That's nothing. We had a bed that went back to Sears Roebuck the third. Hmm. <laughs> Always kidding. <laughs> and now, gentlemen, if there's anything more, I will gladly serve you personally. Good day. A rowboat? You're crazy. That's a horse trough. Horse trough, rowboat. In a hotel? That's a bathtub, you imbeciles. Go take a bath. But it ain't spring yet. Oh, yes, it is. See the pretty grass? Where? <laughs> You're next. But I had a bath. When? July 4th, 1910. I was too young to fight about it then. What are you going to do about it now? Take a bath. Oh. Well, a triple bed, just what we need. I want the upper bed. You get less air. Yeah. How am I going to get up there? Where's the ladder? I... Oh! <laughs> I ought to be able to sleep up here for a week. This bed is so soft. Leave me a call for Wednesday, will you? to you for this. What happened? Get this Henry VIII off my neck. I don't know what happened to you. Oh. Hey, quiet, you guy. Oh. What are you trying to do? Break my neck? Your neck? Look at my head. It is broke. So it is. I'll fix it. Oh, thanks. Oh! Oh! Oh, sorry, Pop. <laughs> oh, uh, here. <clears throat> uh, hear what I have to tell you. He's going to give you a tip. <clears throat> oh, uh, here. <clears throat> Tell me which room is occupied by the gentleman who won the cigarette contest. That room at the inn, miss. Thank you. Gee, kids, we're in luck. That 50,000 bucks is down the hall just waiting for Mama. Oh, that's swell. Now say if we've got it right. We pretend we're three rich widows. We meet the goofs, make them propose to us, and marry them. Right. Then we get their dough and give them the ozone. That's what the hotel manager will give us if we don't get some dough. <laughs> All right, Darwin, now you'll go next door and get lost, and we'll come and find him. Run along. Hey, you better order some more. We only got four left. Sounds flat. Try another. I'll shorten this one up. <laughs> Boy, did I shorten that bottle. I got him. I got him. I'm seeing gorillas. Don't look at me when you say that. I got 
the DTs. I'm seeing gorillas, I tell you. Ah, oh, you're crazy. The joint's haunted. Look, the pants are walking. Maybe it's ants. What's going on around here? His pants are walking and he ain't in them. Ah, you guys have been drinking. Pants are walking around. Oh! My pants bit me! We'd better kill him. Wait a minute. Are you insane? That's that $5,000 gadget. Here's a boy. Give me that. Why didn't you bring me a softer board? Come in. Come in. Come in. Gentlemen. This registered letter just arrived. I thought it might be important. Thanks. Yes. It's the prize money. What? What's happened here? My bed. My vase. Quiet. I can't hear myself read. <laughs> They'll put us in jail. Did he say jail? No, Yale. He's got a brother in college with two heads. They got him in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Is there something wrong? No. The figures stagger me. <laughs> and so will your bill. Hey, fellas. Get up, you fellas. This is a fine time to take a nap. Is he gone? Yes, he's gone. We've got to do something quick. Hey. Hey. Ah. They'll put us in jail for this. We gotta get out of here quick. Come on. There's something peculiar about those men in there. Keep your eye on them. I'm going down to make up a bill they'll never forget. All right, boss. What are we gonna do now? I got it. Give. Me no sabi. Me lone wolf. Me toddle of the way. See the manager about this. Now remember, girls, we've got to make them propose to us right away. Couldn't we just marry the money without them? Quiet, Cleopatra. It's that dog detective again. He won't go away. Oh, he won't, eh? Quick, man the buckets. <laughs> Are you ready? Give. Gee, girls, we thought it was somebody else. Come on in. Is this the way you always receive your gifts? No. Honest, girls, we're sorry. We're looking for our pet monkey. Have you seen him? Oh, so that's what's running around here. Say, what's that monkey got that I ain't got? A longer tail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do hope he's not hurt. He's the only ray of sunshine left in the lives of three lonely widows. <laughs> he's the only happiness we have. With all our millions. Did you say millions? Yes, just a few. And we're so, so lonely. Oh, what you girls need is a husband. Oh, uh, this is so sudden! <laughs> Darling! <laughs> you mean you'll marry us with the millions? Yes! It's a deal! We're the monkeys you girls are looking for. Change those weeds for some glad rags. It won't take a minute. We'll be right back. If you change your mind, we'll see you for Hamer's corpus. Slip <laughs> <laughs> back in the money again. <laughs> Look at that monkey. He's got the letter. We'd better get it away from him before the girls find out we're broke. <laughs> well, we're rid of him. Hurry up, girls, before those suckers change their minds. <laughs> oh, it is a Darwin. 
those chiselers double crossing us. Say, well, I tell that mug something. We're gonna pay those guys a visit. Come on. Open up. They'll never open up for us. Let's use the fire escape. Right. It's the manager. Let's give him a reception. <laughs> what I'll do to that guy with the sugar bowl haircut. Ready? Give. Gee, it's the girl. Oh, yes, it's us. We're sorry, girls. We didn't know it was you. Oh, that's quite all right. <laughs> Gee, you're swell, dames. Give us a little kiss. Why, certainly. <laughs> Close your eyes. You see, Professor Hicks, the school is in desperate need of athletic equipment. The girls need sports, they want sports, and besides, it's good for them. I know what's good for the girls. Oh, Mother. Yes, in my day, we kept our noses in books and didn't run around dressed like fan dancers. It's useless to argue, Benson. Mrs. Catsby's generous donation will be used for the salaries of the three European professors who arrived today to join our family. Oh, that reminds me. We better start preparing for their arrival. That's mother for you. I'm going across the street, men, for a sandwich. Now listen, when the customers come in, give them service. Now this is your first day on the job, so show me that you've got what it takes. Don't be afraid to push those sponges around. Use a little elbow grease. Suppose it's in the action. Oh, what's the idea? Mistaken identity. Hiya, pal. Okay, boss, you can trust us. Carry on. I heard what the boss said. He's a pretty nice guy. Now we'll grease their elbows and they'll grease our palms. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> What'll it be, stranger? Put in 10 gallons of gas. I'm going to cross street for a sandwich. Okay, boys, super service. Carry on. Right, 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 right. right, right. right. Well, I guess we might as well have lunch here, gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. Right, 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 boys. Right, right, right. right. Swing it! Give that super service, Super service. Elbow grease, eh? Thank you. Super service. Hold it. Super service. Help yourself. Field Marshal. Sit down. Please. You don't know what you're doing. Go around there and help him. I'll finish this. Right. Hey, we gotta clean the spark plugs. Get the tools. Okay, finish this. Right. 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 You're not supposed to open a body unless you sterilize your hands. Oh, super super super. Hey, can you guys give me a little help? I need some repairs. 
We're pretty busy, pal, but we'll be glad to let you use the tools. Save us from working on the job. All right, men, a little super service. You check the battery, you check the tires. What are you going to check? I'm going to check you guys. Right, 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 what are you trying to do? I'm going to press his pants. Well, leave him alone and check the tires like I told you. Right. Don't do any more now. Only one ahead of you. You're next. Right. Stop it. Quiet. Stop it. Larry? Yes. No. Okay, okay. Hey, what's the matter with you? Oh, I just got this fella cleaned up. Shut it off! Larry, shut it off! Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Are you hurt? Are you all right? Get up out of there. You see what you did, huh? Now I gotta clean those guys up again. Move! Don't stand around idle. You put in the water, you put in the gas. Get moving. Right? Right. 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 Sorry, gents, but this can happen in the best of places. Have you all cleaned up in the jiffy? Yeah, I suppose so. Take it easy now, boys. Everything is all right. That's all right now. Now, hold still now. Just a minute, I'll have a towel right away. Stop that. Just take it easy, fellas. Hey, did you put the water in? Ah, uh, you never do anything right. What happened? It's murder, it's arson. Let's get out of here. Hey, Carly, come on! Gas. Out of gas? What do you think this thing is, a camel? We've been gone for over three hours. Let's get out of here. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't we forget something? I can't think of anything. How about Curly? Curly? Cur He's in the car! Curly! Hey, Curly! Open the door! Hey, Curly! <laughs> He's frozen! Get him out of there! Oh, a frozen dainty, eh? He's as stiff as a plank. What are you going to do with him? We'll build a fire under him and thaw him out. Come on, get him into the woods. Get your arm under here. Okay. Up we go. He's done on this side. Turn him over. Twenty minutes to a pound. <laughs> we'll be here a month. you got a center. Wait a minute. What about those suitcases I put in that ice cream truck? There might be some dry clothes in them. That's a good idea. Let's go and look. I oh, ought to beat your brains in. I think I will. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? 
wait for me! I ain't going to place! They've stopped. Look, they must be our three professors. Yes, yes, indeed. Welcome to Mildew. I guess she means us. Let's go. Oh, Professor Von Stupid? Stupid? I guess you mean him. We have a grand day planned. First a visit to the classrooms, then a reception and a buffet luncheon. I never ate a buffet, but I bet you got something there. Look out, let me get in there, will you? Oh, you'll just love it. Bill Dew has a lovely student body. Yours wouldn't be so bad either if you took off about 20 pounds. What? Come on, sister, let's go. Thank you, Dad. Henceforth, Mildew College will take its place among the world's greatest institutions of learning. No other school can boast of having such distinguished educators as Professors Feinstein, Frankfurter, and von Stupor. on Professor Feinstein to tell you something of his famous theory. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, uh, uh, any questions? Is it true that time and space are calculated by the direct ratio of interplanetary magnetism to solar radiation? What do you think? I think we're going to have trouble with this dame. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to test your mental co sit down. I'm going to test your mental coordination with a little sit down. With a little number called swing in the alphabet. Swing it, brother. Swing, swing it, it, swing it. Right, swing it. right, 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 right up. Right. I'll explain it so even you can understand. My colleagues will assist. Ready, sister? Get that junk out of here. Come on, boys. Scram. I'll give you the idea in a nutshell. B A B A B E B B I B I B I B I B O Bolt. I'll give you the correct demonstration. Cutie Pie, pound those horse teeth. B A B A B E B B I Bicky by B O Bo Bicky by Bo B U Boo Bicky by Bo Boo. C A C E C E C I Sicky Sai C O So Sicky Sai So C U Sue Sicky Sai So Sue. Get the idea, girls? Now we'll all join together on the letter D. luncheon as soon as it's ready. I shall do so at once, miss. Luncheon is served. Oh, super service. All right. Easy now, fellas. Take it to you. There's enough for a bit. Don't you know it's bad etiquette to reach in front of a person when said person is trying to snag a morsel of food? <laughs> Get him off around here. I'll get him down here. What's up, 
I can't do a thing with him. You try something. Oh, a wise guy, eh? From now on, you're on your own. That's gratitude for you. Do you think we'd better call a doctor? No, if he had an ounce of initiative, he'd swallow the thing. Oh, oh Mrs. Catsby. Yes? Uh, may I see you? Certainly. <laughs> Some terrible mistake. A mistake? Yes. I am Professor Von Stupa. I beg your pardon. Harry, go! A bullseye. This is the last straw. Tonight, we return to Hamburg and the Clipper. I never heard of such a thing. You never heard of what? He's going to get a hamburger with a zipper. <laughs> we will mix them a formula they will never forget. Good. Gentlemen, I demand an explanation. Oh, don't worry, lady. Let him go. What this college needs anyway is athletics. Football. And basketball. I can do very nicely with a high ball. What do you mean? Oh! Oh! Come on outside, lady. We'll demonstrate. Come on, toots. Come on, girls. And just try and visualize, lady. A beautiful spring afternoon. The flowers are in bloom. The bees are making honey. And Sea Biscuit is making six furlongs in one ten flat. Quiet. <laughs> the grandstands are filled to capacity. And look, I see a diamond. Where? 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 Just old time prospectors. All right, break it up. Now, Mrs. Katz. Catsby. Get... All right, Catsby. Suffering so what? Catsby. Oh, suffering. Hey, will you quit heckling me? Come on, man, break it up. Any luck? Ah, oh, he gets all the breaks. Yeah, full of the corona. A corona? It was a corona corona, but I only found half of it. <laughs> Shall I put in a little of this? Just a little, about one quart. Good. You see, basketball is very difficult to explain without a basketball. Has anyone a basketball handy? Any kind will do. Pro flight, baby dimples. Oh, oh, thank you. That's what I call super service. Come on, man, we'll demonstrate. Oh, it passed. What's the meaning of this? Don't worry, mother. Good night. Swing it! Come on, let's get it. Run away, your team's getting all the breaks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go get that. fun if you'll just get those three poor professors back. Hey, fellas, get rid of that ball. The lady's got a proposition. Hey, our lady, that's what I call super service. But look at them. Oh, that's all right. We'll have them cleaned up in a minute. Carry on, men. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. She knows we're waiting for her. Where is Mirabel, Mirabel? Here I am, B.L., why all the huff? Oh, my darling, you know we leave within a week for Africa to make jilted in the jungles. Why, you've got to get ready, my dear. Well, why go clear to Africa? The studio alone looks like a jungle. Yeah. 
Besides, we can't leave until you get me a leading man. Leading man? But in this picture, my darling, you work opposite a gorilla. Haven't we got anyone under contract that uh, looks like an ape? No, not even your relatives. Do you look? Oh, pretty fresh, huh? <laughs> but we'll find one. Get that script. I want to go over it. Come on, we'll sit over here. We've got a lot of work to do. Come in. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Boswaddle. Can we clean up now? We'll be as quiet as a mouse. Yeah, deaf and dumb mouse. No, no. Okay, but don't disturb us. Now, Mr. Boswaddle. Oh! Quiet! your brains out. Like See what you made me do? Oh! Oh! oh. That'll cost us a month's salary. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, oh it won't. <laughs> You're fired. Signified. Wait a minute. Please give us another chance, will you, Mr. Boswell? Oh, no. We're not really janitors. We're actors. Why, Mr. Herbert, we're the greatest animal impersonators in the world. We're terrific. We're colossal. We're even mediocre. Here's an impersonation. The chicken with its head cut off. <laughs> Just once. It won't uh, cost you much. Oh, ungratefully. Do you see the same thing I do? The fat one. Fate must have sent him. He's the dead image of the missing link. Oh, thank you. Huh? I think you're right. And look at the other two. Neanderthal men straight from the Stone Age. We've found our leading man. Now we can start our picture at once. You men are hired. Quiet and hired in one day. Thanks, B.O. To our success and Africa. To, to Africa. Africa. Darkest Africa. Good. Cordial. Yeah. Yes, I have to Well, I wonder where that safari is. We ought to be up with them by now. Maybe this so far away we'll never catch them. <laughs> no! There's our equipment. Come on. Well, this is a fine kettle of fish. I told B.O. not to pay those porters in advance. Now they've deserted us. You mean they... Yes, they... Ooh. I knew it all the time. It'll be dark pretty soon. We're gonna pitch camp right here. You fellas see if you can find some water. Come on, darling. I'll make you comfortable. We gotta find some water. Why, there's water everywhere. There's water here. Where? Uh, Up there. <laughs> I didn't think there was that much water. I didn't think there was that much water. Water everywhere, huh? What? Oh! Mean that kid? Look! Maybe there's water over there. Are you going to start that again? Got lots of water, Bueno. Buana, welcome. Buana, welcome. Come eat, Buana. Got a nice supper. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Come on! Come on. Oh, boy, am I hungry. What do we got for supper? Nice, fat, fishy. 
missionary. No! Mmm, make nice big stew. And I do mean stew. Maybe you'd rather have some pelican. And I do mean pelican. Here's some wild muskrat for you. Mm. Hey, what's this? Him? Love candy. Make big, strong love. Love candy? Oh, boy. Mirabelle, maybe it'll make her love me. <laughs> big thanks. Customer, always right. They give you love candy, you give me nice big bone. Make good soup. Yeah. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Come on, he'll make soup out of you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to get Mirabelle some love candy. Get back there and get to work. Oh, stop it now, stop it. All the time you always, always beeping, always hollering. What deal? Come. Revenge, are you? No, I wouldn't hit you. Never hit anybody in my life. Well, just watch your P's and Q's. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, Mo. I couldn't help it. It just slipped. Honest. It's an accident. Yeah. I'm sorry, pal. You must have moved. Yeah, that's all right, kid. Forget oh. about it. Thank you. I, I was really... Uh, oh, 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 oh! Take this hammer and drive those stakes. You help me. Right, I'll show you how Get to Get this off my face and I'll come oh. back and murder you. Don't have to do nothing. Get that rope on. Help! Help me! Help me! Come here, you footnet. Give me a hand. Come on. Do a thing like that. What happened? I don't know. Huh? One of the children first. Who is it? What was the number of that truck? It's Mo. You. Stop tickling my feet! I ain't tickling your feet. You must be dreaming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's eating you? Stop tickling me! I can't stand it! I'm not tickling you. Go on. Go on. Oh.
Hey, quit snoring, will you? I ain't snoring, it's him. What's the matter? Wake up and go to sleep. What'd you wake me up for? You snore like a roaring lion. I do not. I stayed awake all last night to see if I snored, and I didn't. That's different. <laughs> I wish I was playing the gorilla part. Are you lucky you get to make love to Mirabelle? Well, I'm the Robert Taylor type. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Don't you growl at me. Hey, you guys! Hey, come on, hurry up. He's waiting for us. Here this, we are. Do we kiss her in this scene? No, wait a minute. I'm not so much of a hurry. Let me look at you. Well, what did I get with Mirabelle? Where's my love candy? Oh! <laughs> Come on, hurry up with that suit. Ah. Now you're in character, bubble brain. In character? Why, he looks positively real. Now pay attention or I'll whack you over the head with this club. Now you pay attention too. As the scene opens, you're kneeling at her feet. Yes. And that's where Curly comes in. You grab your clubs and you fight him. Yes. He knocks you down. Yes. You understand? No. Well, we'll try it anyway. Hey, Curly, you understand? He understands. Well, that'll help Sam. All ready? Action. Oh, fair princess, in this gorgeous jungle setting, I throw my heart at your feet. I love you. Black <laughs> foul beast, no harm shall come There's to no you, worries, my love. Sweetheart. That's marvelous. Keep it up now, boys. <laughs> you bonehead, you don't have to overdo it. After all, we're only acting. Macho. <laughs> Exactly. Like that. I never I <laughs> Where are you going? Come on, Curly. Curly, will you come out of the cave? Curly, I'm calling you. Here I am. What do I do now? Uh, uh. What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Where is everybody? <laughs> That's how it is, eh? Now, scram, Ma. I told you before I'm going to play this part. Now, go on, beat it. Go on. Go on. The, gr the gorilla, he'll kill Curly. We've got to do something. Come on. Scare him out with a coconut. When he comes out, we'll shoot him. Oh, so you want to play rough, eh? Get over there. Yeah. Get him! Get him! Hey, wait a minute! It's me! What's the idea? Where's the gorilla? He's inside and knocked him out with a rock. Let's get started. Here. Okay. Hey, my gun's jammed. So is mine. I'm gonna get this skin off. It got me in plenty of trouble. Fine guns. <laughs> I gotta get it in that cage. Yep. Got it. Hey, quit breathing on me, will you? Cut it out, pudding head. I'm not me. That's fine grammar for you. I'm not me. Hey, Mo, here I am. Yeah. 
hold tight so he don't get in. Shh, quiet. Maybe he'll go away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let me in, let me in. I can't hold out much longer. Okay, kid, we'll have... this head off before something else happens. You know, if you hadn't let me in, I... Oh! 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 Let me in! Oh, please, go away, go away! Go. Please, here, here. Some love candy, see? You know, love thy neighbor. Here, take some. It's delicious, see? Look. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah! Give me a little kiss, baby. Wait for Papa, baby. Hey, baby. Palm Springs tonight. How do you like that, huh? I'll pick you up about four, honey. How'll that be? Oh, swell. I'll have everything packed. Fine. Car's ready, sir. Okay. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, uh, be sure and have the dog washed today. Yes, sir. I'll take him to that new place on State Street. Okay, let's go. Seems to be in working condition here. Go get your equipment on. Ready, men? Contact. Contact. We'll lower to the left. All right, set it that way a little now. Take it away. Well, 
Now, let's see. Hey, get your hat. Don't go away. Uh-oh. Power! Oh, they got me! Let that be a lesson to you. Nice work, Inspector. Thanks. Are you ready for me? Take him away. It's all yours. Swing it! Doesn't look like Palm Springs to me. What are you stopping here for? I'm just stopping to pick up the dog. But you're not going to take that muck to Palm Springs. What can we do for you, sir? Uh, how's my dog coming, the Dalmatian? Oh, the one with the freckles. That's him. He'll be ready in a minute. We're putting the finishing touches on him. Did anyone ever tell you you had pretty paws? But you shouldn't bite your nails. Go get my friend's bill. I'll show him. Come on, darling. We get this business done, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> there he is, thick and span. Fifty cents, please. Looks fine. Thank you, uh, Mr. <clears throat> Powell. It's about time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That 1857. Try that lows. 111 South North. Thanks, Mr. Manning. Pull again. Right. Nothing like a satisfied customer. Hey, what did I lock up? You want the tools to be stolen? Where's Mrs. Manning? She flagged a taxi, sir. I imagine she's gone to Palm Springs alone. Hmm. My, my. Get my key now. Oh, dear. No keys. Now, you be a good baby while Mama goes around and tries to get in the back door. That's nice. <sighs> Three miles an hour. We ought to be going faster than that. You're right. You know, the old engine ain't what it used to be. You're telling me. Listen to that exhaust. Hey, you. Come here. Why don't you close your cutout? Here. Thanks. Turn her over. Just as I thought. Two cylinders missing. Sounds like a carbon knock to me. Ow! Say, did you ever have your valves ground? Certainly, with onions. Yeah, what? Oh! Hey, fellas, look. <laughs> Why, it's a baby. Ain't you never seen a baby? Sure, but what you doing out there? Maybe somebody's trying to get rid of it. You mean it's being adopted? Abandon your lug. And if there's nobody home, the kid will starve to death. Go on, get it. I like babies. I was one myself once. Ain't he cute? Come on, we'll take him over to the police station. You gonna have him arrested for loitering? Go on, put him in. I don't know. It was my idea, but I don't think much of it. He's a cute little rascal, ain't he? Yeah, I'd like to keep him and raise him up myself. Nothing done. It ain't fair to the kid. <laughs> well, maybe we could give it some milk before we turn it in. Kind of fatten it up a little. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Go on now, you've caused enough trouble. Get in your doghouse and stay there. You'd better step on her now, Tom. She's probably halfway to Palm Springs by this time. Doug Penny, bring that baby back here. If he only knew. Oh boy, you're gonna have a feast. <laughs> Quiet. Do with that. Oh, uh, put my hand over it. Shh, come on. Shh. 
No, 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 no. Good evening, Mrs. Stutz. Oh, hello, boys. What's the trouble? Oh, uh, nothing. Could we have our key? Certainly. Thanks. <coughs> Do something. Did you hear a baby crying? It's only Curly. He never could stand green onions. They get in his hair. Uh, I mean his eyes. Come on, spray. Get the key. Get the key, please. Hey, wait a minute. What on earth has happened to you? Uh, something I ate. Wait just a minute. I think I can fix you up. Drink this right down. It always fixes me up. Just take it easy and you'll be all right. Come on. Hey, where's Butch? Shh. Not bad. <laughs> Look what I got for you. How do you like that? Get rid of him quick. It's the landlord. I heard a baby in here. A baby? Oh, this is, this is me, you high talking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now do you see? I always like to talk baby talk. Hey, do you want to crack it? Oh, yeah. Ah! He's spoiled. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll keep my eye on you guys. What's the matter, Butch? The kid looks tired. I'll fix his bed. Hey, porcupine, give me a hand. Take it easy, kid. Hurry up. Here, Butch. Making mufflers, eh? Well, I didn't want the baby to catch cold. Well, if you were over here, I'd give you this. <laughs> Sleep all right, huh? Here, fix the baby's milk. I'll handle that. Kidnappers? We better get that kid back to his parents. I got it. Follow me. Oh. Here. Boy, have I got brains. What's the idea? I'm going to pull the cops and dress you as the baby's mother. But I never saw the baby's mother. She never saw you either, did she? No. Well, go on. Oh! But I don't feel like a mother. Good morning, Mr. Mulcahy. Uh, good morning. Uh, a fine bunch of cops we have around here letting babies get kidnapped all over the place. Don't you worry. We'll have them crooks behind the bars in 24 hours. Not bad. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? Look at those. Wait, I'll fix that. What are they for? I'm going to pat them out with these sponges and nobody will ever get wise. Give me a hand. They've got a couple of suspicious characters down at headquarters. The detectives picked them up this morning. Maybe you can identify them. Right. Wait a minute. 
He's all the detective I need. Follow him and we'll find the baby. I'm the top of the mountain to you. How are you, Mr. O'Halloran? I want you to meet my sister, Mrs. Dennis O'Toole. She just came over from Ireland. Oh, Mrs. O'Toole, is it from the owl side? A fine broth of a bar you have here. Is he on the bottle yet? Hmm, I should say not. He don't smoke, drink, nor chew. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. O'Toole. You know, Mrs. O'Toole. Oh, I beg your pardon. You remind me of a Colleen I once knew in the county, Carrie. And you remind me of a cop I once knew in the county jail. Oh, <laughs> come on over and see Officer O'Halloran. <laughs> Let me see the baby here. <laughs> ah, that's a fine broth of a bite. You better be going, sis. We'll miss that train. Yes, yeah, goodbye, officer. Goodbye, Mrs. O'Toole. I tell you now that. Oh, I'll take the baggage car. Yeah. I wish we were both going on that train. Uh, wait a minute. Why, that's the kidnappers. Come back here. Oh. Come back here, you kidnappers. You can't get away with that. <laughs> Quick, look in there. Just a minute. Ain't I seen you somewhere before? Oh, no, but go ahead. Go on. And what part of China are you from, may I ask? You been a China boy chick from Slovakia, Ben, Hakmin, Tachana, and I don't mean Efsha. You're from China, east side. Well, I think we'll take a little trip over to the west side at the police station. Come along. Oh, my God. Okay, Lally, give. Okay. Hey, come back here! You can't get away with it! Mrs. O'Toole and the baby. They're on their way back to Ireland. Ah, yes. Where is Mrs. O'Toole? Come on. Hey, stop what's going on? Oh, hello, Murphy. Say, I think I got a couple of the kidnappers, but the one with the baby got away. Yeah. Oh, quiet, quiet. See, you woke up the baby. That's him, that's him. It's a baby. You're Give going to this, I tell you this. My baby, come here, darling. So you tried to fool me, eh? Now, wait a minute, lady. We found that baby on the doorstep. We're no kidnappers. Aren't you the fellows that run the dog laundry? Sight me. Sure, I'm Mo. I'm clearly. I'm Larry. Quiet. <laughs> I see it all now. They saw the baby on the doorstep and they thought I had abandoned it. Sure. Uh, sure. Sure. I'm sure there must be some mistake, officers. <laughs> if you'll release these boys, I'll vouch for them. Oh, oh thank darling. you. Oh, oh, me oh, oh, Helen. Darling. But look at you. You're the dirtiest baby I've ever laid my eyes on. Oh, we'll handle that. Let me have them and follow me down the alley. Right, right, right. right, right, right. Well, help me out, officer. Ah, right. come on, get out of there. Thank you, thank you. Hey, wait for me. Hunter. Hunter.
face of a good old horse drawn fire engine. Why, there's no more finer, no more thrilling sight in oh, the world. Oh, Chief Kelly, that's, that's just silly sentiment. There's fighting words, Reardon. Oh, but wait a minute, Kelly. I was you can't fine. talk about my fire department like that. Hello, uh, Daddy. Hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Reardon. He sells new fangdangle fire engines and things, you know. Uh, what'd you get that for? Oh, that's the prize for the boys over in engine number one. They sold the most tickets to the picnic, you know. They did? Sure they did. <laughs> you have to give those boys credit. They sure are a wide awake lot. Six months for a fire. I want to show my new patent. What patent? My heart is patent. If I had my necktie here, I'd hang you. Right. 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 Uh, wait, no, 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 no. One foot at a time. Oh, yeah, I'm when I get over there. Okay, boys. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Wait a minute. What's happening? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute boys. Listen. Listen to me. I'll get you out of it. You go that way, you go that way, and I'll take care of the center. Go. Okay. Oh. Listen now, listen, wait a minute. We'll have to start from scratch. Oh, oh come on, scratch. I mean... You uh... said it, you said it. Come on, come on, come on, on. get him off. Like I told you, will you? That's my leg. What's going on up there? You'll get used to it after you've been here a while. That goes on practically every morning. Right, right. Oh! <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? Ain't you coming to the fire? Why don't you guys wake up? What for? I mean, what do you mean? Alarm clocks are supposed to wake people up, ain't they? That's neither here nor there. <clears throat> yeah, just to prove we're on a job, I'll go upstairs and turn it off myself. Put them away. Thanks. Hey, Barhead, come here. What's on the fuss? What is all that junk you got hanging up on the ceiling? That's what I was trying to tell you about. That's my invention. All you gotta do is pull a string. Thanks for telling me. Then I suppose a whistle blows, eh? No. The horses fall on the harness. Uh, the harness fall on the horses. Mm-hmm. Then I suppose they hook themselves up and dash off to the fire. Well, if they don't, I'll be terribly disappointed. So will I. Look out! Stop it now! Look out! It's mine! Wait a minute. Hold still. Now close your eyes. You gotta give me something. Yeah, close them. Oh, oh. Always button in, eh? Come on, get out of my way. I'm a victim of circumstances. You What did you go upstairs for? I forgot to turn it off. I feel so silly. <laughs> you look it. Oh, wait oh. on. Chief, I'll tell the boys right away. Wait a minute, you guys, that was the chief on the phone. He wants me to remind you that there's a prize for the best looking team of horses at the picnic. I think you better give Annie and Fanny a bath, don't you? Right. Come on, boys, we gotta win that prize money. Man the sponges. Oh, well, I clean you up. Why, your mother won't even know you. You will recognize him. <laughs> See you at the picnic. Okay, boys. Wait a minute, I got a better idea. Come on. Idea. Andy and Fanny should look great after this. Yeah, they'll look great, but I'm afraid nobody will recognize us. I can afford to lose a few pounds. I'm too pleasingly plump as it is. Why, uh... <laughs> oh, got enough, eh? Okay, we'll give him a shower. I ain't gonna take no shower. Why not? Oh, well, you got my bathing cap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. We'll give him a rub down. Come on, Andy. Oh, 
Oh, Andy, you're gonna look like a million when we are through with you. Yeah. A little more pressure on his left vertebrae. Right. Oh, all right. Rub some oil on her. Shall I use the peppermint? Certainly not. Nothing but the best for her. Spearmint. Don't let the cork hit the ceiling. <laughs> They're sure gonna fix you up now. Give me a little down here. You know, we're not supposed to flirt with the customers. <laughs> there you are. The neatest job as I ever saw. She looks ten years younger. Yes, sir. Practically a Shetland pony. We're through. There's one thing I forgot. What? Crack her neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened? She's fallen apart. What are you up to now, Mr. Reardon? Is that some new angle of salesmanship? Oh, well, no, no, Miss Kelly. You see, I, I was just uh, looking the old wreck over. Oh, I see. And I suppose that was your business card you just put into the engine. Well, you see, I'm I... going to call my father. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> okay. Why, you... Do you smell anything? Do you smell anything? No, especially smoke. Why, I look. I know. I smell a mouse. Look. I got an idea. Go get what's his name. Who? What is his name? Butch? Yeah, Butch. Go get Butch. Butch. Here, Butch. I knew I smelled a mouse. You know, that's the first mouse I ever smelled that smelled like fire. What did you expect a fire mouse, I mean a firehouse mouse to smell like? A petunia? It's, you know. Come on, Butch, we got a job for you. Come on, everybody's got to do their part. This is a real man-sized job for you. Here he is. All right, Come Butch on, will Butch. handle him. Come Here on, Butch, down here. Yeah. Okay, Butch, boy. Let me get this rope off him. All right, now get around here, Butch. Come in. Come on, right in there. Go! Go. <laughs> It's a shame. It's murder. It's murder. I know it's a shame, but we can't have any rats around the firehouse. Don't get pushed up. He's gonna burn it. It's murder, eh? It's murder. Get out of my way. What we need in this place is a trap. I got one. Here. Out of my way. Sir. 
covered in pine. I know I smell something. Now's the chance to try out my new patent. All you gotta do is pull the string. I'll pull your tonsils up at the roots. Get out of here. Get going. All you gotta do is pull it. Hurry up. We wanna get out of here. You ready, men? Go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! A fine mess. We'll pull the engine ourselves. Get some volunteers. Volunteers! 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 Help! Help! Everybody, boys, men, anything you can find. We need help! Come on! Hurry up! Come on! 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 Come Time we get there, we'll have plenty of steam up. Yes, sir. There we go, boys. Watch it. Wait a minute. Save for the captain. We'll take a shortcut through the pond. Take it away. I was ready to let him have it like this. Whoa! I wasn't looking like what? Like that. Oh. Look, he's coming back!
Order those immediately. Aye, aye, sir. Telegram, sir. Please wire my acceptance, Lieutenant. But, Admiral, Count Garrell was suspected of being a spy. Exactly. That's why I'm going there. Perhaps I can trip him up. I see, sir. Here, take my uniforms down and have them pressed. And tell those dumb tailors not to burn holes in them this time. Aye, aye, sir. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of this business. It was your bright idea. Join the Navy and see the world. No more smelly sweatshops. Beautiful girls in every port. Woo-woo, I got a good mind to punch you right in the nose. Yeah, we'd still been all right if you hadn't blabbed off about us being tailors. Well, don't tailors sound like sailor? I got a good mind to bust this iron over your head. Hey, remember you had to pay for the last iron. Look! Look what you made me do to the captain's pants. Fix that hole. Hmm. You know, gasoline don't taste so good since Prohibition. What do you mean? Because they ain't so careful like when they use it for making gin. But it ain't bad. Here, taste it. Go on, scram and get to work. I... Hey, fellas, it's 12 o'clock. Come on, we got the afternoon off. Make way for a tail, girls. I'm going to get 18 blondes and 12 redheads. I'm going rolling in the park. Hey, clean and press for the Admiral in a hurry. Clean and press for the Admiral in a hurry. Clean and press in a hurry. Clean and press in a hurry. Boy, where do you see the dames go for me? You should see that bearded lady in the circus. Is she a beaut when she gets a shave? When I get through rowing a boat, boy, I'm going to spend a hot weekend on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh. Now I'm going to change my socks. What an experience. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. I always want to see how you look with a permanent wave. Pension, why aren't you men at work? Well, you see, Admiral, he and I were just standing. How oh, look as an admiral? Get him! Hey, you. Salute your superior officer. How dare you strike an officer? Slightly. How dare you? What do you mean, officer? Man, do your duty. Wait a minute, don't you know where this guy is? Don't you know where this guy is? You know I was thinking. Quiet. How dare you wear my uniform? I was taking it out for an errand. <laughs> it's full of... You food. were. I'll press them right away. Is there anything wrong, sir? Yeah, there's a guy... Everything's all right. I wish to talk to those men alone. Aye, aye, sir. You know, for five bucks a piece, I'll get you birds out. I'll bust your skull in five pieces. Get us out, you bubble brain. Say, God, put these men on rations of bread and water. I'll get you for this. On second thought, plain water. Oh! Salt water! Hey, you. Oh, Admiral. Yes? All right, you win. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, there's no sense in getting you guys out of here. You need a pass for the other gate. <laughs> you chucklehead. Yours ain't the only officer's uniform in the tailor shop. You're right. Gone? Release these men. 
What saw these men in here for kicking an officer? Oh, kicking an officer, eh? Yes, sir. So you're kicking an officer, eh? Oh, kicking an officer, oh. eh? Oh. 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 Attention! Right face! Forward march! <laughs> My dear Count Gerald, your admiral is late. Admiral Taylor and his staff. That's him now. That's not Admiral Taylor. Be careful, it may be a trap. Don't worry, I'll get the information if it's womanly possible. Admiral Taylor, I believe. How did you know I was a Taylor? Why, everyone knows the Taylors of Kentucky, one of the oldest families in America. Sure, everybody knows old Taylor, under proof. Would you introduce your friends? Why, certainly, this is... Uh... Man the button, Ken Presser. That's them. Miss Arger, may I present Admiral Taylor, Commander Button, and Captain Presser. Say, when do we eat? Oh! It's a nice hunk of goods there, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Admiral. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to come and sit down? <laughs> Would I? Let's go over and find a dark corner. <laughs> it's the kid. <laughs> the Admiral threads a fast needle. He's an old so-and-so. Oh, girls, did you see my tattoo? Uh, there. Do you care for a cigar? Uh... Oh, allow me. Certainly, certainly. Won't you tell me about the Navy? Sure. You see, they feed you beans every day, except on Sunday. That's when you get bean soup. And beans. Oh, Admiral. You're such a sturdy old man. <laughs> and I'm your clinging vine. <laughs> Won't you tell me about your submarines? I don't know anything about submarines. I'm a tailor. I mean, uh... Oh, Admiral. Don't you trust me? <sighs> sure, but I don't trust myself. <laughs> you foolish boy. <laughs> Please, sir. Come on, Toots. Don't mind him. <laughs> Do you smell rubbish burning? It smells like somebody's frying onions. <sighs> Get up. Get up. <laughs> Am I as heavy as all that? No, but I'm pointing up. Get up. <laughs> well, is that nice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean it. Honestly. Oh, please, give me another chance. Will you please? I didn't. Listen, honey, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, Say, you're getting in my hair. <laughs> you want to get us in wrong before we eat? What's the matter with you? I think I got spring fever. Spring fever or hay fever? You got to get that off before anybody sees you. Get out there and I'll help. Oh! 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 Uh, I thought this guy was a phony when I caught him snooping around outside the window. Now, just a minute, gentlemen. Those three imposters can identify me. They're enlisted men. Tell these men who I am. How should we know? We never saw you before in our lives. What? Just as I thought. Come on, Bozo, let's no, go. Officer, Come please. on, officer, uh, We'll be shot at sunrise for this. Maybe the sun won't come out tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> we gotta find a place to hide. This plays right into our hands. How about that submarine, Admiral? Oh, it's big enough. Submarine? Why, certainly. That's perfect. That is, I mean, uh, <clears throat> what are we waiting for? Hmm. <clears throat> Calling all patrol boats. Calling all patrol boats. Submarine M9 has left port unauthorized. Last scene headed out to sea. Stop her. That is all. Hmm, see? I told you you couldn't get away with it. My government needs this submarine, and I'll either get it to them or stick in the attempt. But what about us? One move out of you and I'll kill you. If you do, I'll never talk to you again.
I'm wrong guy. Yes, I did. Oh, yes. yes. I don't mean to hit you. Don't go like that. Hey, you can't get away with you. Yes. You will. You're all looking for you. can't get away with you. No, I can get away with me. No one must say. Bing, bing. for when we run out of air. What do you think you're in the movies? Oh! We're trapped like rats. Speak for yourself. Oh, a microscope. I can see! I can see! What? Uh, what do you see? Water! Why? What was that? A school of catfish just went by. Hey, bloodhound! Hey, bloodhound! Look out! What do you mean? Get to your post. What post? I don't see no post, not even a street lamp. I'll put both your lamps out. <laughs> calling all battleships, calling all Navy planes, calling all bombers, calling all naval craft. Submarine M9 stolen by enemy spies. Sink her at all cost. That is all. <laughs> that is all? Ain't that enough? We better get this thing back before they find us. Right. Man the wheel. What wheel? Any wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Submarine M9 was sighted just off the breakwater. Order batteries one and six to open fire at once. Yes, sir. and order my gig. I'm going aboard that sub. Yes, sir. Sir, we're no traitors. We captured those spies. We did it for you, sir. Oh, remarkable. You'll be rewarded for this. How did you do it? It was a cinch, Admiral. I took a piece of pipe and crowned him like this. Hey, step on it. Look who's coming. Wow. <laughs>
Crowell, Dr. Crowell. Yes, Bad yes. news, the police are unable to find any trace of Professor Tuttle. His disappearance has them completely baffled. That ruins our hopes of ever finding the tomb of King Rutan Tutan. Professor Tuttle is the only man alive who knows its exact location. First, Professor Dalton dies mysteriously, and then Tuttle disappears. Yes. Something terrible happens to anyone who tries to explore that tomb. I'm telling you, it is the curse of Rutan Tutan. But unless we secure the mummy of King Rutan Tutan, our entire collection is worthless. We must find Tuttle. Well, I'm doing the best I can. I sent for the three best investigators in the city. And they are our last hope. Come in. At your service night and day, if we don't get them, you don't pay. Excelsior! To the hunt! Where's Professor Tuttle? He's been kidnapped. That's why we sent for you. Kidnapped, eh? What's the old bird look like? Here is a picture of Professor Tuttle. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Gentlemen, you must find him. I got an idea. What is it? We'll start in the basement. To the basement. To the basement. To the basement. To the basement. This must be the basement. Excuse us for butting in, mister, but we're looking for a kidnapped professor. We're detectives. Detectives, eh? And you're looking for a kidnapped professor. Well, well. Hey, look, fellas, I've got to carry this out. Will you give me a hand? Sure, you might do us a favor someday. I'll take that end. I'll take this end. I'll take the end in the middle. I'll open the door. Up she goes, oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, boy. Take it easy. Uh, you got it. Take it okay. Easy Are you all right? Easy, easy. easy. Oh. You take it easy or I won't let you carry it at all. Have you seen Professor Tunnel? Certainly not. Have you? No. Have you? No. That means we'll never find the missing king. How'd you know the king was missing? Oh, so you're the one, eh? That's how you won my 13 cents. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Who came in? You don't understand. The missing king is Rutan Tutan III of Egypt. Oh, missing persons are right up our alley. When was he last seen? About uh, 2,000 years, come Michaelmas Day. Huh, a mere bag of tell. Give us 2,000 years and we'll bring him back alive. Come any day. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to accept their offer. Nobody in his right mind would undertake that expedition. It's almost certain death. Let's hire them before they find out about the curse of King Rutan Tutan. Done. And if the curse does strike them, it will be a blessing to humanity. Gentlemen, you're hired. We're sending you to bring back the mummy of King Rutan Tutan. You leave immediately for Cairo. Say, I got an uncle in Cairo. He's a chiropractor. No, 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 no. And if you are successful, we will pay you $5,000. The recovery of the mummy will prove of untold value to science. For science. For science. For 5,000 bucks. Give us science. Give us science. Give us science. What? Oh, taxi, 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 taxi. Where to? Egypt. Right. Huh? Hey, driver, stop here. Hey, hold on. You have been listening to Ali Ben Woodman and his swinging Bedouins. Do you need money? Borrow on your camel or elephant. No red tape, no cosigners. Everywhere we go, commercial announcements. Shut that thing off. Where's the map? I must have lost it. Now we'll have to travel by compass. I wonder are we near the place. Well, being there's no other place around the place, I reckon this must be the place, I reckon. <laughs> if we don't come to a filling station pretty soon, I'm gonna die of thirst. Me too, my throat feels like a bale of hay. Hey, hey! I think I'll reconnoiter. I think I'll get my hat. We're coming to a jungle. I can see the tangled underbrush. And camels walking through it. No, no, they're octopus. Uh -huh. 
I can't see anything. You will. Oh. Look, a signpost. Come on. <laughs> Oh, boy, we're nearly in Cairo. The tomb ought to be around here someplace. I'd rather go to Tunis. Then we can have tuna sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> Look! Water! Real, pure, salty water! It's the ocean! Ocean nothing. That's a mirage. Mirage is something you see yourself in. That's a mirage. Mirage? That's where you keep your automobile. I said a mirage. Mirage, mirage, whatever it is, I'm going swimming! <laughs> Gee, the water's cold. Here. You think I'm crazy? Come on, try it. The last one in is an old man. Come on. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Oh! I wonder where we are. Maybe we're in the subway. This is the tomb of the mighty king, Rootin' Tootin'. How do you know? I didn't say anything. Neither did I. Infidels, prepare to die. Good joy, it's wanted. Uh, no, wait a minute. Let me get out of here. No, 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 Wise guy, you lead the way. But listen, I... Go I'm... on. I'll go when I'm ready. Are you ready? Follow me. Gee, it's spooky in here. I'm glad you guys are behind me. There should be a door here. That's what you think. Well, there's my orders, and when I get to them, I'm going to be Take it easy, take it easy! Oh. 
Alice, listen. Did you ever hear a mummy talking? Well, I did. Now he's talking to mummies. Don't you believe me? He's right over there. Come on. Hmm. Talking to a mummy. What does he think I am, an imbecile? They're going swimming again. Come on, we can't stay in this tomb all day. We gotta get the king out of here. Come on. Hmm, that well is dangerous. Hmm. Grab a hold of that mummy and be careful. It's worth five thousand dollars. You and I will try to find that door. Here's a chance to get the mummy. Well, you better start to talk before I count three. Where is that mummy? One, two... Wait, wait! It's in there! I don't know where the door is. All right, tear down the wall. And you better be telling the truth. Because if that mummy isn't in there intact, it'll be the finish for you and those three goofs. Get it! If they find out we killed the mummy, they'll kill us. What'll we do? I got an idea. We'll make a mummy out of you. I can't be a mummy. I'm a daddy. All right, so you'll be a daddy mummy. Oh, that's different. Hurry up, get those bandages. Yeah, good thing I'm an old tailor. Sure. Get your arm down. Here they come. Don't even take a breath. Well, fancy seeing you here. Ah, uh, so you guys are in there, eh? Where's Rupert Tootin? Over there, and he's as good as new. Boy, was he homely. Awful. Say, where are those jewels that are supposed to be buried with them? Oh, they always wrap them up inside the mummy. We'll have to cut him open. Let me have that sharp knife you got there. He's burst open. Yanks won World Series. Can you beat that? Yeah, and I won five bucks. No kidding. I had the Cubs and... What? Hijackers, <laughs> 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 eh? After we lost... They're gone. Professor, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, but what about King Rootin Tootin and the 5,000? He blew away. That wasn't King Rootin Tootin. That was his wife, Queen Hotsy Totsy. This is Rootin Tootin. He was a midget. A midget? And all this trouble over a shrimp like that? What a small world! Oh, oh boy, boy, a midget. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hey, fellas, look! A mummy alligator! I'm gonna take him home! Oh, boy, would you look good on my wall? How am I gonna get you up here? Oh, a rope! No, 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 no. <laughs> What's the matter? He bit me! Ah, uh, he couldn't bite. 
Ain't exactly wagging a tail with joy. If we don't find a job. I'm so hungry I could eat a skunk. Raw! Look! A banquet. What are we waiting for? Hey, 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 hey! Signals, signals, Oh, that's right. Hey, Larry! Quick, pass it! Larry, pass it! I got it! What'd you throw it so high for? Now you wrecked it! You know I can't... <laughs> What's the idea of dropping a thing with... <laughs> no! Back Duck Club. Salesman wanted. Are you guys salesmen? That's fine. Come on, we got a job. Your troubles are over. Here we are. We are the best salesmen that ever sailed. Got a piece of bacon in your pocket? Why? You keep me busy, I'll get some eggs for breakfast. You try that and I'll crack your head like an eggshell. Come on. You men ever sold anything? Why, certainly. Anything we could lay our hands on. Gentleman said sold, not stole. Oh, I misunderstood him. Pardon me. Well, what do we sell? Memberships in the Canvasback Duck Club. Canvasback? When I was a fighter, that's what they called me. I was on the canvas so much. I used to stand like that. Not for long. And then my footwork and the rosin in my hey, eyes. Canvas. See that? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen to me. With this proposition, you can't go wrong. Remember this, boys. Every red-blooded man is a potential hunter at heart. Why, there's one in every office. That's right, boys. All you have to do is appeal to the primitive in them, and you can't go wrong. And for every membership you sell, you get 10% of $50. Think of it, 10%. Think of it, 10%. Oh, boy, $3. Get it oh, 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 oh. Gentlemen, you're on your way to success. We're glad to have you with us. And you, too. Let me be the first to congratulate you. And you, good luck. Start selling. Who are we going to sell to? Every red brother he man is a potentate hunter. There's one in every office. That's right. I'll go this way. I'll go that way. I'll go that way. <laughs> Spread out. Remember, ducks is ducks and cash is king. And never the twain shall meet. Go on, start selling like I told you. No take no for an answer. No, sir. Go. Look out, look out. You want a duck? Get look out. Now, don't do that. Don't do that. Ducks, ducks. Who wants to buy some ducks? Is your blood red? Are you a potent hunter? All you need is a prime appeal. What about a duck? There's one in every office. Hey, remember me? Your face looks familiar, but I don't know where to put it. Yeah. I'm your boss. What a coincidence. I knew I saw you someplace before. <laughs> is that a proposition or is that a proposition? You can't go wrong, pal. I don't want any ducks. But listen, buddy. No ducks. Hmm, no ducks. No ducks. Can't we appeal to your privilege? 
Only 50 bucks, miss. It's a chance of a lifetime. I don't eat ducks. I'm a vegetarian. Well, eat the vegetables, see? And leave the duck. Come on. Oh. Calling all duck hunters. Calling all duck hunters. Duck hunters this way. Duck hunters this way. Calling all duck hunters. Duck hunters this way. Hey, it's me. Calling all duck hunters. A customer. What do you say, brother? The chance of a lifetime. Want to buy a wild duck? If not, why not? No, I don't want to buy any Please. ducks. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you guys, come here. Oh! You muscle-bound porcupine, you would throw a pass and let a cop intercept it with his head? Right up. I didn't say nothing. Well, that's for what you were thinking. My mind's a blank. You... We're surrounded. Come on. Yeah, hello, Jack. Hi, officer. We check it. We're here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, this is the chief of police. No, I don't want to be disturbed by anyone except the mayor. When he comes, show him in. Thanks. What is this? The chance of a lifetime. You're about to join a duck club. Not today. I'm busy. Get out. Get out. Now, listen, fella. Relax. Imagine it's dawn. You're waiting for the sunrise on the lake. A duck is calling his mate from the Thule's. <coughs> yeah, I hear it. Now they leave the water. Quick, get down. Get... They're coming closer. I can hear the rustling wings. They're coming within range. Big, fat ones. Now they're circling overhead. They're setting their wings to land. They're coming down. Get your gun ready. Yes. They're right in front of you. Aim at the leader. Okay. Fire! Oh, the mayor. The mayor? The mayor, boys. <laughs> well, I still can't figure how those three saps sold those memberships so fast. Who cares? You heard them say on the phone they sold them, and they're on the way here with the dough. And yeah, the minute we get the dough, we're going to scram town. Right. The cops, they're wise to us. Boss, we sold all the memberships. Here's the dough. All in the same place, too. That's great. Who'd you sell them to? The police department. Uh, we even sold one to the chief. And the mayor. We're going to see the governor tonight. The governor? We're going up to the club with the chief and the mayor. They're outside now waiting for us. Like to meet them? No, no we're too busy. We'll meet them up at the club in the morning. OK, give us our commission. We'll get out of here. Well, we're kind of short of cash. We'll bring your commission to the club. Not that we don't trust you, but could you give us an IOU? Oh, sure, we'll give you an IOU. There we are. I owe you 10%. Now sign right here. Thanks. Hey, you're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Oh, a wise guy, eh? Give me back my pencil. Hmm. Now we're off to the hunt. 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 Better get the limit. Well, if we don't, our money will be refunded. Correct, Chief. Absolutely correct. Uh, hmm, must be another customer. I think it's Blackie and Doyle. Maybe they got our money. Oh, Paul Revere. Uh, just passing. Thought the old club was haunted. Nobody been around here in goodness knows when. Fine, that should make the duck hunting better. Duck hunting? Why, man, there ain't been a wild duck around here in years. Wild ducks, duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> well, there better be ducks, or you guys will get 20 years. Oh, uh, don't mind that old bird. He's cuckoo, Chief. Sure, we'll go right out, Chief, and make sure there's plenty of ducks. Yeah. Hey, and don't try any funny stuff, because you can't get away from the police department. Certainly, old Chief, you old kid, old Chief, old kid. We'll be back in a quack with a quack. And I do mean quack. Look out! This is a fine mess. 
What we gotta do is get some ducks. I got it. Go get me some duck eggs. I'll sit on them and hatch them. We can't wait that long. Go on out and rustle up some ducks and hurry up. Hurry up! <laughs> Listen, Porcupine, I got an idea. Get these decoys. You got to get them out of this drink now, you see? I got it. Wise guy, you said there was ducks. Where are they? Now, don't get excited, Chiefy. You get ready to shoot. I'll call them. <laughs> ducks. <clears throat> you better watch for them. I mean, you got him. Well, I certainly. Oh, <laughs> no, you got him there. It's working all right. Now, if that pudding head will only find some ducks. We can't hold out much longer. This is the last one. Quit stalling. Let her go. Oh! Remind me to kill you later. Yeah, blow up one of these rubber decoys. You ought to tear your esophagus out. this, a gag? It better not be. They have to us, and that nitwit had it to sight us. We better scream. Come on. Cut out that quacking. That ain't me. Are you sure? Yeah. then I can pipe duck sober. Look! Millions of them! Let them have it! Say, why can't we get our share of ducks? Certainly, that's a good idea. Come on! I 
almost got him, didn't I? Look! Hey, why don't you watch where you're shooting? <laughs> There they are, Sam. <laughs> Chief, was that hunting or not? I'll say it was. Those guys are all right. You hear that? Come on. Hey, keep me, keep me. How'd you like it, eh? Delay, it's fine. <laughs> good. Those ducks will cost you five dollars each. What? what do you mean? Well, they're my prize ducks. Those duck thieves stole them from oh, me. No. What? 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 Give you a flat tire. Go on, get busy. Speed them up for you. Oh, I'll go right out to meet her. With a posy, I will greet her. And she'll think that I'm the sweetest. What's the matter, don't you? No. like three sick heifers. Well, we're doing our best. Ah, you'll have to do better. I'll put you back to work in the kitchen. Get it? Yes, yes sir. sir. What a boy, 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 boy. boy. <laughs> don't let him talk to you like that, girls. Why don't you quit? We can't quit. Father's indebted to him, and if we don't work it out, he'll put Bob in jail. No, no, don't let that get you down. Certainly, we still love you. Hmm. As soon as you make enough money to pay off the debt, we'll get you out of this joint. Come on, break it up. Get busy. OK, uh -huh. here you. Hmm. He can't talk to us like that, the big bully. 
I know Kathy is the boss. He can't bluff me. One of these days, I'll just break... Here, hold this. I'll just break them in two in pieces. That's what I... Yeah! Now, one more crack out of you, and I'll break you in two. Come on, get busy. You two! One beer. One beer, coming up. 42, 53, 25, hike! Hey, Bill. Cut it. Go on. Draw one. Hey, on the way. Oh, oh gee, Mo. I'm so I know, I know. Don't worry about it, kid. It was only an accident. Oh, well, that's not. That was no accident. Who'd you think I was, a customer? Come on, get out. Hi, right, boss. Hi. Right. You knock off that bank? Did I? I got 40 grand. Good. Now listen. Drink is that? That's my own brand, the Western Surprise. There's no liquor in that. That's a surprise. You just tried it again. That was that. You mix that man a lay me low. Hurry up. You get it? Yeah, I get it. All right, take that dope a little leg and bury it later. In the meantime, act like nothing happened. Go to the barn, buy yourself a drink. Right. One straight. One straight. One straight. One straight. Receive. A $20 gold piece. Where'd you get that, partner? Oh, I just dug it up. Thought it was a quarter. Dug it up? He must have found a gold mine. Charge it. A dumb guy like that can dig up gold. So can we. Come on. Ooh, we're gonna be gold diggers. Gosh, we'll be rich overnight. Yeah, then we can pay the girls' debts and marry them. Oh, boy. I can see it now. Me coming home from a hard day's work, I whistle for the dog, and my wife comes out. Me, with my own wife and children. Dozens of them. Dozens of them? Yeah. How many is that? Two. Yeah. What? <laughs> you know what you did? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Grab them. Stuff ought to be safe here, all right. Yeah, we can remember where we buried it by this stump here. Oh. What's the matter? Oh. I lost a gold filling out of my tube. We ain't got time to look for it now. Let's get back to town before we're missed. Come on. This looks like a pretty good place to camp for the night. Yeah, I'll chop some wood and get a fire going. I'll cook the supper. How about some scrambled eggs smothered in steak? Sounds swell to me. Where's the eggs? On top of the burrow so they'll be nice and fresh in the sun. Yeah, we... Get going before we starve here. Come on. Hmm, <laughs> fresh hen fruit. Handled with care. Sack of flour coming down. Oh! You're putting head now, you broke the eggs. So what? We'll have steaks mother than lamb chops. And maybe chicken on the side. <laughs> well, you fix it. I got some prospecting to do. Hand me down that dynamite and be careful. I'll handle as if it were eggs. I mean, I'll be careful. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Why, you dumbbell. Oh! 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 Hey, Boo! Hey, Larry! I'm in the dark! Turn on the lights! Oh! Is that you? Uh, yeah, yeah! Oh! 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 There you are!
interest. Swallowed it all right. I can hear it sizzling. <laughs> Quick, the water. Here. Don't be a stubborn mule, you jackass. Drink it or you'll blow up. I got an idea. I'll hold his mouth open. You pour it in. Go ahead. I'll take that aim. Easy, Yorick. Easy. Take it, Yorick. <laughs> oh! I'll murder you. I'll murder you. <laughs> what happened? Nothing yet. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Poor Yorick. Gone with the wind. <laughs> it's all your fault. If you hadn't thrown the rock, I wouldn't have thrown the dynamite. We'd still have poor Yorick. You know, I had a dream last night. Yorick told me he liked me. And any time anybody likes me, something always happens. You're right. Oh! 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 Oh, look. A gold nugget shaped like a tooth. Oh, boy. Salad gold. And 14 carrots. Carrots? That don't look like a vegetable to me. I'll give you a cauliflower ear. Oh! Come on, get busy. You go get the tools. Okay. Come on, put in head. Stop digging. <laughs> Go get a screen and don't drop it. Get out. Yeah. No! What's the matter? Nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what are you, got an iron plate in your head? Give me that pick. <laughs> We're rich. We struck pay dirt. Pay dirt, nothing. We struck a mint. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. Oh! Why, you... Oh! Oh. Hurry up and dig some more. I'll screen it. Oh, screen out. Look, gold coins. We hit a jackpot. Oh, oh such of it. <laughs> Hey, look at the pretty papers. Those ain't papers you sap. Them is bonds. Bonds? Who ever heard of getting bonds out of the ground? Why not? Them is gold bonds. Gee, ain't that you wonderful? Come on, we gotta get back to town and stake our claim. Let's go. Let's go. We can't stay here all day. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, darling, sweetheart. <laughs> look, we did it. We're rich. You go change your clothes, we'll pay off your father's debt. Then yeah, we'll get married. Come on, we got work to do. Hey, what's going on in here? I told you we'd make good. We dug up 40,000 bucks. All right, so you dug up stocks and bonds, too, eh? Who's lightning? Stay back from that table, you crooks. That's our dough. Oh, that's a boy. What did you do? 
Cigar store horse. Come on, hurry up, get out of here, Pete. Come on. Hey, look, there they go. Hold on, boys. They're on horseback. was stolen from the First National Bank. And all the time I thought we had a bonanza. Yes, we have no bonanzas. Here, 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 here. <laughs> well, we got plenty of breaks. <laughs> say something, kids, say something. Bonanza! Is the ammunition arrived? Yeah, it's safely stored in the hills. Are you ready to lead us against President Roby? Sure. I can close up the hotel any time now. The only guests left are three American salesmen. I'm going to ask them to pay up and get out. Hey, here's a couple of live wire prospects. This one won't be interested. I think he's dead. Get these things unpacked. Now, if you guys unpack them, I'll put the high pressure on them. Pardon me, stranger, but we represent the King Winter Outfitting Company of Ticonderoga, New York. Manufacturers of imported wearing apparel. And just to prove our clothes are fresh, you can still smell the ocean. Believe it or not. What do you mean, believe it or not? I got an idea. Well, it better be a good one. Now, pal, we got a lot of stuff here that nobody's seen yet. Now, here's something very chic in a kimono. Now, here's a little article you can't do without in this part of the country. What is that? Watch. <laughs> So what? My latest invention, the shock absorber for earthquakes. And the trading value on this is twice as much as... Listen, that guy ain't gonna buy anything. What are we gonna do? If the boss don't send us some dough, we'll be stranded. What's that? I, um, I was just telling my pal here, this is lovely country and I'm glad we landed. How are you, Mr. Singapore? Look, 
The cold weather set in. I've decided to close the hotel for the winter. Your bill. Hey, come here, yo. Who had that last beer? Not me. I had that one with all the foam. Well, I had this one. I had that one. That was seven dollars drinks. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to charge me. Wait a minute. Hey, will you please pay that bill and get out? Well, I'll tell you. You see, we were expecting a cablegram from the front office. Oh, I forgot. Your message came this morning. Oh, thanks. <laughs> kind of waiting for it. Oh, they sent you the money, eh? Well, not exactly. You see, this wire's a little, uh... Hey, what was that? What's that? They're executing some guy that didn't pay his debts. It's a law in this country. Well, he deserves it. Now, that last round reminded me I've got some money in the top drawer of my dresser. What do you say we go get it? <clears throat> All of us. Okay. Come on. The door's in the top drawer of the dresser and the jewel box under the handkerchief. If you wait here, I'll get it. I'll help him. I'll help him. Oh, no, you don't. You wait here. I'll go in and get it. What kind of a fool do you take me for? Why, is there more than one kind? Sinister, you say? That's all it is. Have you got a peddler's license? Peddler's license? Certainly not. We're salesmen, super salesmen. Oh, salesmen, eh? How do I know you're not spies? Spies? <laughs> Excuse me, General. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you harm a feather in his bed. Uh, I mean head. We're not spies. Don't be silly. We're selling earthquake shock absorbers and doing rather well, too. Look. Well, you'll have to come along with me for questioning the general casino. But we don't play casino. How about little Rummy? Ah, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. Hey, keep an eye on those samples, will you? Spies, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. But, General, the fed one does not look like a spy. He looks very innocent. Oh, I don't know. I've been around. Oh, oh, oh. Do you really think they're innocent? Oh, I am sure, my General. Well, you may go free, gentlemen. Oh, oh thank, thank you, General. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, I told you to bring us luck. <laughs> Why don't you search him, General? Wait! That's a good idea. Search him! Don't forget, anything you find is 50-50. Oh! Here's a message, General. No passage money until you get rid of present wardrobe. So then you are spies. Throw them in the dungeon and shoot them at sunrise. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, 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 listen. Get him in a tight bit. So him. that buzzer did bring us luck, eh? Hey, hey, hey come on. Hey, you got to shoot one? Oh, oh. Look out, look out. Oh, oh. Oh. What? This is all your fault. Wait a minute. Fine last supper. This is the hardest bread I ever saw. Listen. Hey, Puddinghead, what are you doing? I'm trying to make the alarm work. What for? We're going to be shot at sunrise, and I want to make sure we don't oversleep. <laughs> yeah, it's working now, all right. Hey, it's Rita. Oh, boy, Rita. I have brought you something good to eat. Oh, food. <laughs> what is it, Rita? Pie. Oh, pie. My favorite. Bread. Bread. Chicken. Oh, stuffed chicken. Oh. 
and soup. Oh, sweetheart, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, boy, soup. Soup, we ain't got time for that. We want to get to the solid food. Let's give it to the guard. He's a nice guy. That's a good idea. Your bone has got a brain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't say soap, you lug. Soup, soup. Soup. Oh, sure. Well, take it. Thank you. Take it, Ramos. Let me get that food. Hey, where's your manners? help you to escape. Meet me behind the jail. I have work for you to do. Rita, come on, bring the sauce. Come on. Hey, Shh, quiet. You want the guard to hear you? Listen. That gives me an idea. Give me a blade. Ready? Shake, the biggest one yet. Hey, do you fellas feel a draft? Why, certainly. It's from that hole in the wall over there. Oh. Come on, get busy. Boys. Come on. Be right with you, toots. We'll be finished in a minute. Don't go away. Come on, you dummy. What's the idea? I just can't stand to have anybody look over my shoulder. Oh. Look. Is this it? Ah, yes. This is the map of President Robbie's palace. You must take this to our leader, and he will see that you are rewarded. Good. Now we can get the money and go home. I ain't so sure I want to go home now. <laughs> Quiet, you dumbbell. Where does your leader live? His camp is in the hills. What are we waiting for? Come on. from Senorita Rita. And that ain't double talk either. Right! Right! Come on! Right. Right. I can't understand the delay. We can't attack without that map. Messengers from Rita. We'll bring them in. Yeah, all right. Come on. Now, my friend, we'll have some action. <laughs> you! Take him out and have him shot. Oh, wait. Now, wait a minute, Joe. We got a message here from Rita. Well, the map will last different. Come, my friends, eat, drink, and be merry. 
Oh. Where's Mary? Sit down. At last, success is ours. Idiots! Blunders! Take a look at that. Take them out and have them shot. Oh, no, yeah, please, wait. Explain the whole thing. Wait! The boys made a mistake. I had the real map. Rita, that's fine. It's a good thing I found the right map. Won't you sit down and pick a bone with us? <laughs> oh! Say, what's the idea? I bet he wouldn't do that. Would you? Sure. Oh! He did! <laughs> That's it, all right. Rita, you're wonderful. But you guys die at sunrise. Oh, but you cannot shoot my friends. They did their best. You should reward them. All right. I'll give them commissions in the army. Commissions? Not me. Straight salary or nothing. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know I'm temperamental. Yeah, 95% temper, 5% metal. Then how? Huh? Here you are, gentlemen. Take these warrants to General Legrandi. He'll take care of you in a large manner. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Show them the way. Oh. Gonna make you a general. <laughs> I always wanted to be in the Army. It's such steady work. Relax. Hold him, Larry. Hold him. Oh. Oh. Get the car on. <laughs> General, our commission. Yeah, we signed contract with six months options. Very well, gentlemen. We will take care of this at once. Follow me. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello though. I hope they give me a double-breasted suit. I'd look much thinner. Come on. Hmm, woodpeckers. Uh, now, gentlemen, stand against the wall, if you please. I wonder what's the big idea. Maybe they're going to pin a medal on us. I know. Maybe they're going to take our picture for identification. <laughs> I'm going to send one home to Elaine. <laughs> Attention. Some clash. They're going to fire a salute in our honor. That's well. Say, we want 21 guns. Three will be sufficient, gentlemen. What does he mean? My friends, have you said your prayers? Yeah, last night I... Good. Ready. Next on my ammunition. Hurry up, they're shooting at us. Give them more gas. I got my foot down the floorboard now. Are you enjoying the ride? Child, hey, I'm gonna start a forest fire. Mm. Pineapple. Oh, oh! Must be green. Ah! Would this be Fourth of July? Come on, they're still shooting at us. Doing the best I can here. Maybe this one is right. Hey, what do you got there? Pineapple, want one? Pineapple? That's a hand grenade! Get rid of it! Why don't you be more careful? Hey, what are you smoking? An inner tube? What is that smell around here? Hey, fellas! Look! Dynamite! Oh. Stop the truck! Stop the truck! I've got some coming your ears! Look out! 